Welcome to Daniel Reviews. I'm Daniel Goodwin, and today is the latest installment of how to power your Delta Pro with an external server battery bank. Um, I'm going to go through my entire setup uh, from top to bottom. I'll have a link to every single piece, so if you want to do something like this yourself, you can. I'll talk about how everything has worked so far and where I'm going next with it. Let's get into it. Okay, I started this project several months ago, and I've produced a number of videos that you guys have all followed um, on different things I've tried to make everything work. I think I've got things fairly finely tuned and I want to walk through each component, how I'm using it. Obviously there's some efficiencies that could be done, but I think you'll find it useful and I'll talk about where I'm going with it. All right, we've been out here several times. You're pretty familiar with this if you've been following the series, but I'm, I'm going to again try to talk about each component in series and then we'll figure out, um, you know, if you have questions feel free to, uh, I'll tr to post them and I'll try to answer them as best I can. Okay, let's start here. This is the solar controller and inverter all in one. This is an EG4 uh, EX4800, I believe. And I will have the link for this. This is the key component. This is what I connect my, my solar panels to, as well as the external battery bank, which I'll show you in a minute. It's very, very simple. You just connect your batteries to the um, to the battery bank. You connect your uh, PV to the solar input, and then you connect an AC out. Which let me see. I need to let me see if I can. You see, I have a just a plug coming down off of the off of the unit where I can then power AC out. Very basic, very simple. Um, it works. It works great. I don't really have any complaints about any of that. Great controller. You can use this. You can find it from Signature Solar. And um, there are some others that, of course, would work. Uh, I think GrowWatt makes a very similar model. I think it would work fine. I don't have, don't have experience with it, but from what I understand, it's fine. Uh, there's a number of others that make this kind of like 3,000 watt output, 5,000 watt input, and uh, these work great. So. That's the first. Next piece. is the Dinkle assembly by International Connectors. This is fantastic. I've talked about it. I love this. It's very easy for obviously running several different cables into um, the you know, and connecting them. It's like essentially a bus bar. You can get a bus bar. I find this much more easy to work with, and um, it, it's a fantastic uh, just ease of use. I connect my batteries to it. I connect the power to the um, to the AC DC power switching power supply to it, and of course the power from the controller runs into this. Fantastic! This is the 60 amp model, and um, again, no complaints with that. So that's next up it. is the external batteries. I have two 51.2 volt batteries from EcoWorthy. Um, they don't currently sell these, or they're out of stock, I should say. I assume they will be selling more on Amazon, but as of right now, they are. Um, currently out of stock, but I'll give you a link to the ones I got. I chose these for two reasons. One, they're most affordable for the capacity and voltage and, and etc. And two, if this whole system didn't work, which I didn't know at the time I was buying whether it would or wouldn't, I knew I could still use these in my UTV, my electric UTV, so I could swap these out into that and, and boost its performance. That's why I chose these. You absolutely can choose a server rack battery or uh, different, you know, different batteries. This is just what I chose. Again, it was the best price at the time. Next, we have the 1500 watt switching power supply. This is the 16 amp um, 90 volt version. Uh, I originally went with a different one. It did work fine, but I swapped it out so that I wouldn't have to do any adjustment with the voltage or anything for this model, and it has worked really well. Um, no complaints at all with it. And it uh, basically, right now it's not connected because there's not enough battery remaining uh, in these to run it. But when it runs, there's a little green light kicks on at the back. It starts flowing power through to the Delta Pro and it just, it just works. And that's what you want. So very, very basic. Um, that is the entire setup. Okay, that's it. That's, that's everything. Um, th the only thing is, of course, some cables. You know, you got some cables for your input into the controller, your cables to the the Dinkle connector or the bus bar, cables from the bus bar to the battery and, and then, uh, then out to the switching supply and then into your Delta Pro. 
not a lot of uh, complexity here. Now you could add a lot more complexity. You could put fuses, you could put cutoff switch, you could put a lot of things and I do recommend those. I'm just showing you very basic. When I created this system, I didn't know if it was gonna work so I went into it as economically as I possibly could because I didn't wanna sink a lot of money into this and find it wouldn't work. It does work, so what are my plans from here? Well, glad you asked. <laughs> First, I'm probably gonna add another switching supply out of the uh, battery bank and try to power two Delta Pros from the, the solar controller because I have a ton of solar capacity, productivity from my panels that can flow through that. I'm not even maxing the EG4, which is 5,000 uh, watts, and I, I think I can, and I'm going to. And so I wanna try to run two of those switching power supplies out which is gonna be about 2,700, 2,800 watts, which is near the top of what this EG4 can do. So I'm gonna push it, see if it, if it can deliver. That's one thing. I'm gonna upgrade the Dinkle uh, assembly because this one's a 60 amp model. It's great, it's what I wanted to start with. It was affordable and um, you know, for the amperage and things that are passing through the system right now, it's, it's fine. If I wanna do two, I'd like to get a little more um, uh, I, I just want to go up to their 100 amp model. I want to use thicker gauge cable. Just, just be a little safer. I want to clean up some of these loose connectors. So, and, and then I want to basically pile on a lot more solar into the EG4 controller. So that's the next step for this is to get two Delta Pros running off of the EG4. And then the step after that, if I can get all that working really, really well, um, I need to increase the battery bank here because I've only got essentially five kilowatt hours here. That's not huge. Um, it's nice and it works, but I would like to have obviously a much bigger bank feeding into the Delta Pros. If I have that, then I, I'm really happy because that means I can add on, I don't want to say unlimited storage, but enough that I can keep my Delta Pros topped off continuously and the Delta Pros are enough to run my house. So as long as I have more capacity, which I'm kind of tapped on the Delta Pro proprietary. All right, so in conclusion, uh, so everything is working with the external, um, ser or external battery bank and, and feeding into the Delta Pro it works every day. Uh, I'm really pleased with it. It would work excellent for a single Delta Pro like it's currently doing. I'm curious in that my next phase is whether I can do it for two Delta Pros, whether that's uh, going to be successful, we'll find out. I'll definitely be updating on that. But if you wanted to uh, build your own system, I'll list out the components. They're there. Uh, I think you'll find it's, it's pretty, you know, pretty easy to do, and I'm sure you can improve on it. And a lot of you guys out there are more knowledgeable than I am. I'm just showing you that if an <laughs> average Daniel can do it, then you definitely can do it. Uh, a couple things, the way I've set up my solar arrays, I have a kind of a morning array um, where they're kind of facing that early morning as it comes up over the, over the horizon and starts shining down. Uh, this is winter, we don't get a lot, of, a lot of hours of sun, so I'm trying to maximize that by having a morning array and then an afternoon array, and they both feed into that EG4 controller. So I am seeing really good performance uh obviously i'm way over paneled right like i'm uh i've got more solar panels than uh, i had before and, and so i'm taking advantage of that by doing two separate arrays that's working really well um around 8 30 to 8 45 in the morning i'm already picking you know 600 700 watts coming in and then it just amps up from there uh, you know i've seen close to three kilowatts coming into the controller and I'm, I'm looking to add more, which I wanna get really close to that five mark. I think that'll be perfect. And I can hopefully run two Delta Pros with that. So I hope this video was helpful. If not, the component list maybe will be helpful. And um, you know, if you have questions, I'll be glad to try to help. But like I said, I know a lot of you are even far better at this than I am. Um, so I wish you a lot of luck and uh, I'll see you in the next video.